given a team of people who are passionate about high levels of customer service. Uh, I mean, the award is called Customer Committed Team here, but it's really about your team are running this practice on your behalf as well as they possibly can. They're really using their initiative. They're, they're passionate about the whole business. They're passionate about delivering everything to high standards. And really, you know, it's about creating a team that doesn't need to be managed all of the time. They're led by a good leader and therefore they're doing what it takes. Um, and, and therefore there's little to no requirement of the business owner or owners in that particular situation. The team are making decisions based on the values of the organization. So the winner of this award for creating a fantastic team and having that, those wonderful people working there is Val Wishart of Beyond the Numbers. So please give a massive congratulations to Val from Beyond the Numbers and Val, uh, welcome. Thank Hi you. There. Um, so you know that there's the countdown, so I'm gonna get that going. Please just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about the practice. Thanks, Shane. Um, I'm Val Wishart. My company is Beyond the Numbers and uh, I'm not the winner of this award. Uh, my team is the winner of this award without, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, we are a team of six, so I work with five wonderful ladies. Uh, we're based in Edinburgh and we work with small businesses, mostly um, in Edinburgh and local area. And our mission is to be a happy, caring, friendly team that helps business owners to realise their goals, dreams and ambitions. Thank you very much for that, Val. So again, just give us a flavour for, you know, before you had this great team dynamic in place, what was life like? So we've been around for 11 years now. And um, when I started out, I started out just as me and then kind of quite haphazardly built the business. Um, it was sort of coming at me rather than me deciding where I was going to go with the business. And... Um, I was at the centre of absolutely everything. And I'm sure lots of you this will resonate with. It, I was responsible for looking after the team that I brought on, the clients, the suppliers, the finances, the marketing, the business development, everything kind of was centred around me and what I wanted to do and who I was and how, how I worked. And I became quite a bottleneck, I have to say, to the extent that, you know, lying awake at night not able to sleep because you're worrying about so many things and your brain is going at 90 to the dozen and you can't you, you can't physically stop it um and you know well I've told my story before to ABN and I was pretty miserable I have to say so thank you for that just tell us about some of the things that you've done then that, that and and what that team now looks like so the team um now can handle pretty much anything that happens in the business. We, every year we start the year with a plan and the whole team contributes to that plan. And we all come up with, we celebrate this, everything that's gone well in the last, since we last looked at it. We look at what we think is gonna go better next time. And we all give our contributions to that. And then we decide what the plan for the year is. Our plan for this year is um, raving fan clients plus inspired team equals greater profitability plus reward for all. We're accountants with like a few pluses and equals and stuff thrown in there. Um, and so we've all contributed to that plan for the year. And then every quarter, we do the quarter for the, the, the plan for the next 90 days. And every week we check up how we're doing against that plan. And actually um, it's been my team this year that have reminded me to do the quarterly plans because I've forgotten. Uh, they're the ones that are thinking about it and uh, really more than I am. Um, so, so that's one side of things. Um, I can go away now on holiday without even thinking about the business. I don't, I literally don't think about it when I go away. I don't look at emails. I'm not contacted by my team and they take care of everything. So for example, I was away in June this year and something came up that they'd never had to deal with before. Um, it was a special report we had to do for Scottish Enterprise and um, they just took care of it. 
basically. They got together, they looked at what was required, they got the requirements from the client, they looked at our, our pricing software to see if there was a price. Of course, there wasn't because we'd never done it before. So they just agreed amongst themselves what the value was and what the price should be, went back to the client, agreed it with the client, got the work done, happy client, happy team. I knew nothing about it. I was on, I was on the beach. So it, it, it was just amazing. And um, we've, we've, we share knowledge. So every Tuesday, we now have a Top Tips Tuesday, where um, at the end of our little chat on a Tuesday morning, we all share something that we, we know that perhaps we want to share information with the, re the rest of the team about, because the more people understand and learn about everything, then the more we can deal with things without me having to get involved. And, and we also have an Inspiration Wednesday on a Wednesday where uh, we've got a, a, an inspiration library on YouTube where we add videos that we are inspired by or motivated by, and it can be really anything. And every Wednesday, somebody will talk to the rest of the team about something that they've read uh, or looked at or watched that they've found inspiring and why. And I guess it's just getting the whole team involved in personal development. And, and they truly are inspiring, Shane, they truly are. Um, and I guess for me, it's just, I can now sleep at night. I don't worry about the business anymore. I can, um, I was able to take over Debbie's clients when she went off on maternity leave because I had the time to do it. Yeah, and I don't work long hours. I don't, don't work, you know, overtimes, weekends or anything like that. I don't worry because I know it's taken care of. Client calls don't come to me. 98% of the calls are, are dealt with by the team. And I, I guess it's just so different. It's unrecognizable from where it was before. It's come so far and it's changed so much. And I, I actually wrote at the top of my award, this is a heartfelt thank you to my team. Um, and it really is. This is not about me at all. This is about everything they've done. So ladies that are watching, thank you. You are wonderful. Absolutely. Thank you, Val. I mean, my last question was, what, what does this mean for you? But I think you've answered that. Is there anything else you'd like to add in the last few seconds? Just to say that we're also much more profitable than we were. Our profits are up 52% on last year's. Wow. I mean, that's quite amazing. And that's without me having to do all that much. So Incredible. that's my team. Incredible. So thank you very much, Val. And, and again, massive congratulations from me for, for winning this award. Um, and, and I extend that to the, the entire team at uh, Beyond the Numbers, of course. Uh, so please acknowledge Val in the chat box. Remember Val's name for later in the voting. And um, thank you very much, Val.